this video, we're going to make an app called EV Smart Parking that allows you to, with a camera and LLMs, detect if cars are parked on the on a parking lot and it will reply back to you on an app in a simple web UI that you can see if the spots are available or not. The cool features about this app is we're gonna be using a lot of LLMs. We're gonna be using Olama for running a Lava 7 million parameter model that we're gonna take a picture, capture it, and then ask the LLM how many cars are then gonna report back to the app. We're gonna build a web app that you can go in and log in and see uh, if the spots are available or not. And we're gonna be running this on two different computers. So with this little bunch of videos online, I've been watching it that they create simple apps uh, with Cloud or with ChatGPT. Most of them are useless because, for example, a to-do app, uh, nobody's going to use that. You have a bunch of apps for that. So here, what I want to show you is the entire process. When you have a problem, how you start brainstorming the solution for that problem, then you break down the problem in different options. So I will show you the workflow, what tools you're going to need for this. And we're going to use the latest uh, AI models for this, and we're going to be running on a, on, a, on a local computer. It's not going to be on the cloud. And how that later on you can deploy and people can actually use it. So with this project, you will have an understanding of how to uh, really implement AI into a real world application. Okay, so let's get into it. So the first thing I want to show you here on the iPad is the process that brainstorming when you have a problem. So let me explain the problem. Now, this video may take a little longer but it's gonna show you a lot of important uh, features, a lot of important things that most reviewers, most YouTubers won't teach you. Okay, so if you have the time, I recommend you go slow and you will learn a lot. So the first thing is when you have a problem, so let me explain you explain you what the problem is. So I live in a condominium in a, in a complex that they have uh, around four or five uh, parking lots for EV charging. Uh, it's been increasing EV cars in this uh, year. And usually what happens is if your building is not close to a charging station, then you have, let's say you are on the building number four, then you have to go down, walk around, go to the charging, check if there is no car, and then go. But what happens if there is a car every time you go, maybe you go up and down uh, like five or six times. The way to fix this is to have an intelligent system that with a camera can detect if there is a car or not in the parking lot and then send you a notification or you can just open the app and see if something, uh, if the car is available, if the spot is available or not. Okay, so that's the problem, and that's what we need to be solved. Now, in order to do this, we have different components. The first one is we're gonna need a camera. It's gonna be our eyes uh, that can watch the parking lot every five minutes, ten minutes, whatever you can schedule for. In this case, I set it up for five minutes. So the app is gonna be looking at the parking lot, the camera. I'm gonna take a screenshot. And at first I tried to use YOLO because YOLO is a very good model to detect object. But the problem with that is it didn't detect the car pretty well. So I was having a lot of issues with it. And then I tried Lava. Lava is an amazing model that basically you upload a photo and it tells you what is on the photo. So based on this, I try, I make some tests between Lava and between uh, YOLO and Lava was much better in different lighting conditions, especially at night, especially when it's uh, early in the morning, YOLO was having a lot of issues with it. With that said, then what I did is I create a prompt and that prompt will tell like, take a picture, take the screenshot, then send the screenshot to Olama, which is the server running Llama. And I'm gonna explain everything in different videos. And if you have questions, just leave it uh, in the description below what you wanna learn uh, if you don't understand any of these concepts. So what happened is I take a picture, the picture gets sent, uh, is cropped because you have to crop the this only the place where you need the AV charges are located. Then that is being sent to Olama, which is running the Lava model on my Mac. Then that model has a prompt that said, take the image, check there is just two spots. If there's one spot available, report back to me. If there is two spots available, report back to me. If the two spots being used, report back to me. So based on that, I create an API and it record that, what happened. And then you have a web UI, which is the how the user interact with the app. And the user will see in a very simple way, because remember, make it simple is the goal. So you have in a very simple way how to uh, see the if the spot is available or not. If it's available, it's going to be green. If it's not, it's going to be red. Okay, so this is what I did here. Most of the time when you're building an app, you have an API server. So you have the, the backend, whatever, all the, the, the functions and everything that is running on the backend, all the logic of the app which is every five minutes, we take the screenshot, then we send it with the time, we process the image with YOLO. In this case, I change it to ChatGPT, to, I, I change it to Olama, then save it the results for an API call. That's in the back end. Now the front end will load the interface that you see here, a very simple interface. And this interface will tell us like, uh, we'll have two spots. First one is gonna be, if it's available green, if it's not, it's gonna be red. 
You got the legend on the side so the people know what we're talking about. And then under that, you have the email so they can contact support. And then you have a how to video. So you can click on that. It opens a YouTube video and explain how to use the app. For example, things like if you open uh, because it's a web app, you can open it up before uh, phone users. They can just add it to the home screen and it will work like an app. OK, so every time they can open the app and they will see the spots is available or not. So pretty basic that there. And then uh, here on the left side, I'm going to share with you on the link. I share this video. I create a, a workflow. So what happens? So we create first we scan the QR codes, how people know that we are implementing this app. We make a, a, a banner and we put them close to the EV charger so they can scan the QR code. Once they open the QR code, it opens an ocean page. And this Notion page will explain them what this app is about and, and the link to use the app. Then after that, they, automatically they can use the app for like 15 days for free. If they like it, then uh, after 15 days, it's going to close and it's going to tell them that we have different options. Uh, the services will have four options. You can have three, two options, depending on what you want. But basically, you can do 30 minutes monitoring, which every 30 minutes you get the monitoring to see if the spot is available or not. Then you have 15 minutes, five minutes of real time for one second. In that, you can change different pricing. For example, you can give like $6 a month for 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, you send them the update or they can open a different one that it can go up to one second. So it's real time. The people that are paying for the one second uh, have more chance to book the, to go the EV uh, charger and use it because maybe in 30 minutes it changed. But in one second, it's like pretty, pretty fast. So then this will send an email uh, to the customer uh, after a, a period of time uh, to link depending on the subscription. That's the concept of the app. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to show you how the app works and I'm going to share all the links and all the GitHub is going to be in the description of the video. So let's jump back to the computer now. So here is the code itself. Now, the cool thing about it is we're running on, a, I'm running on my Mac, but I'm running on a different computer. So in my local network, I have an Ubuntu machine and this is a very simple machine, has four core CPU, eight gigs of RAM. That's basically running the back end because the back end then will connect to my Mac, which is has the power, a uh, GPU power to run the Llama or the Lava model. OK, so you're going to need a GPU, at least uh, a 10 gigabyte GPU to run this model. If you have an NVIDIA car, you can do it. But if you have a Mac, even with the 16 gigs Mac, a Mac mini, you can use it as well. So pretty cheap. You can do it for like $800 but it will cost you something because to perform that intelligent part, you, you need power, right? So we have two, two things, important things here, which is the first one is the backend final. I call it like that. You can change it later. But basically what it does, if you go through the process, you basically take create the fast API so we can interact with it. And the first thing is going to open the camera. In this case, my camera device is zero and I'm using a very cheap webcam. This webcam is like uh, $20. Logitech all webcam. You open that website, you open the camera, take a screenshot, select the area, allow you to select the area because it may change depending on your application, uh, depending on where you have the, this parking lot. So you select the area that you want to check. That picture is sent to the Olama server, which in my case is running in this IP. So it's running in a different computer. This is the cool part because it's not running on this computer. So basically it's connecting to another computer to compute the power. So it's very, very modular, this app. Then it crops the image, it resize the image, analyze it. If it's too bright, it's going to try to lower the brightness. If it's too dark, it's going to increase the brightness. So these kind of things. And then we have the prompt. The model we're using here, it's Lava Latest. Uh, this is the smaller one. And then it's going to generate the API here. It's going to send a response. Basically, you know, you can ask, you just copy this. If you want to learn a part of the code, just take, for example, this function here. Just copy that function, send it to ChatGPT and tell things like, hey, can you explain this like a 12 years old boy or something like that? And they will explain it to you. So it's very easy. Then we go down to a few optimization for the image itself. Uh, we take it, I load the camera to adjust lighting condition. This is the same thing, camera options. And then uh, we run the Olama at the top. And then here, this, in, this part, what we're telling is a schedule every 10 minutes. So every 10 minutes, the app is going to do the same thing. So it's going to take the screenshot, it's going to send it, it's going to process it every 10 minutes. If you want to change that, you can do here and you can do like one second. You can do one minute, whatever you want. It's just going to take more power because it's, it's going to be running that model more often. So you have to keep that in mind, but you can change that here. So once you have the backend final, you have another file, which is the index.html. Basically, this one is just the HTML file that has the, the implementation, that has the web UI. And then uh, it's a very simple app. We're going to show it to you. And we're going to run both of them. So we have to run the back end and we have to run index file, which is the, the HTML. And then we're going to have the Olama server running in our Mac. So for example, if I go here to my Mac, we can see that I'm running Olama server on, on my Mac in the terminal. 
So I can close this, for example, and I the, the way I launch it, I do Olama host, so everything can have to access my Mac, and then Olama serve. After I do that, it's going to start the serving the models. I can use the API to interact with this model on my Mac. So go back to the computer, and here we're going to run the backend. So you're going to see how the backend works. You're going to do Python 3, backend final. I'm just going to wait for 10 seconds. This is opening the camera, making some small calibrations on it. And you can see here, this is the image of the parking lot right now. This is uh, real time. And what I'm going to do here is going to select. So there's only two spots, these spots right here. So I'm selecting that, press enter to tell the model I want to use this only this section of the image. Press enter is going to take the screenshot, it's going to analyze the image, and it's going to send the image to Olama, to my other computer on the network, to process the image and send the logic if there is one spot available, two spot available, and then create the API for it. So as you can see here, it's optimizing and it said two cards detected, zero spots available. So here is he sent already the, the response from the API. You can see here we got the 200 OK for that. And you can see the Olama API response one. So response content has one only. So you see the prompt is only one number. It's not a big prompt. What I get back from Olama because on the prompt, I specify that. Analysis complete, one card detected, one spot available. So after that, we're going to go to a terminal and we're going to do the same um, folder where the EV parking smart app is located. And we're going to launch the HTTPS uh, server so we can access the GUI, the front GUI. So for that, we do Python 3 minus M, HTTP that server that 8080 and they'll launch it very quickly. Uh, 8080 server. Then we open the Firefox uh, or the Google Chrome. As you can see here, when we refresh the page, this is the, the application itself. This is what the customer will see. And you can have this on the phone or on your laptop. And it's pretty intuitive for them to know. So here's what happened. So you can see in the picture, you go to a picture, you see there's one car on the left and there's no car. So one spot is available. And the funny thing is, look at the image, how bad the quality is. The quality is really bad, but the model is so smart, it's so good that it can understand. I was trying this with Jolo and it was not uh, picking up. I tried Jolo V8, V9, V5, V6, nothing. It was not working, but this one, it works really well. And this is the smallest model. The Lava thing is like 3.4 or 7 billion parameter. You can use the 34 billion and you probably get a better image. Or you can create something to process the image to increase the quality of the image but that add more complexity to the app. Now we have here, you can see here, we got two spots and one spot is available. So pretty simple app. You can click here, contact support. It's gonna open to send a message or you can use how to use video. It's gonna open a video for the app that we can explain to the customer how to use it. Cool things here, you got the legend on the bottom. You got the parking lot address. You can change this on the code. You can put your address so they can tell the user where this EV parking is located. And then the good thing is you have last updated so 031, which is today at 9 p.m., it should happen now, 902. So every 10 minutes, this is gonna happen and you get an update here. So you know the app is running and everything is uh, working so far. This is the app, is running locally and it's working great. Now, if you wanna know how to launch this app and then next step will be to deploy to a service, like for example, Heroku, or you can do Ngrok, so people can actually use this app, you can share in a, a URL and people can use it. Let me know in the comments below if you find this uh, helpful, or if you wanna go in more details how to launch, for example, why I use for Olama, break it down everything in a more, in a better video that I explain everything from scratch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Use the app in the description of the video, I'm gonna leave the, the GitHub, you can use it, you can modify it, or you can apply for uh, maybe a different AI application. You can use something like sort of detecting cars, maybe detecting people, or to see how many people are in the, in the spot in, the, in a specific uh, time in the day or things like that. The Lava model is amazing and you can try to use it and the possibilities are endless with this. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.